What's up, my dudes? So, since we're sharing our seed, I bought more. I'm getting a lot of emails of you guys buying this seed, and I love it. We're all gonna match. Ha <laughs> ha! A blackout! Okay, this one, ooh, this is all Kentucky blue. Hello, hello. This is for, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> the one I like to share the most is this one. This is my favorite all time seed. Guys, this is my favorite seed. We renovated last year with this and I cannot tell you, I can't say anything bad about it. It is amazing grass. It has been green all year long. I mean, deep green too. This is what I usually share with the neighbors is the perennial rye. Why? Because it works. Now, I know damn well that Kentucky Blue is gonna work as well. And I love the Kentucky Blue because it spreads underneath. It's called rhizome. It's not stolen, stolen's on top. So stolen spreads on top like, like bent grass and all those warm season grasses. This is just a bush. <laughs> so it's like little bushes that pop up everywhere. And then they just have these little tillers that start spreading. And it's just like, But I share this with the neighbors because number one, I know it works. Number two, I know it looks good. Number three, it's easy to maintain. You can cut it tall if you want. You can cut it as low as a quarter inch and it'll still look good. Hat trick fireball, a blackout. God, I love this stuff. I love that stuff, dude. That's cray. You can't beat the hat trick and the fireball. Oh, let's see what the cultivar is on the Kentucky. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be dark too. Mazama Moonlight and right. Come on, bro. Kentucky Blue, about to seed you. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right, we got we got big big things happening today. Big things popping. Big things popping, wow. and little things stop. My friends, it is leveling day for my next door neighbor, Rick. It's going to be so fun. We've been waiting all this time to level out this epicness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. But first, as always, here's the pee spot and dogs, you're lucky. Dogs, it rained. So it washed away your cayenne pepper, whatevs. Don't get me wrong guys. I am a dog lover, okay? I raised a dog from the age of six months to 15. I loved that dog. Minnie, here's a picture. Rest in peace, she was the best. Minnie, you wanna eat this? <laughs> Make sure to chew your food. Chastics. She was the best dog ever. I miss her. And I will eventually get another dachshund, but just not right now, because I don't want it to pee in the, in the lawn. But just so you know, I am a dog lover. It did wash away. Don't get all mad. <laughs> and mainly that's for like critters. Like I have a bunch of cats that come through. They poop in the garden bed. It smells horrendous. You know, just a little bit of cayenne pepper just to deter them. You're not trying to, and plus it's organic. You're not doing anything to harm them. It's organic. It's not a chemical. You know, I have all these signs, guys. I have all these warning signs and people just don't care. Boom. Nope. Still peeing here. As you can see, no one cares. What can you do? There's a pee spot, whatevs. We just have to, like you guys said, maybe get a camera, see who it is, talk to them. So we'll go that route before we go spreading cayenne pepper all over the place again. <laughs> but here's the, oh my gosh, guys, come on, bro. Come on. Rick's is gonna look just as good. <laughs> oh my, God. look at the tulips. Tulips are coming. Oh yeah, tulips are blooming. Look at that. We're about to have some azaleas. Azaleas? Game over, bro. Game over. You guys usually see me use silica sand to level out my situations, whether that be the greens, whether that be this. Today we're gonna use a multi-purpose sand because number one, he's not gonna cut as short as we do. Number two, yeah. <laughs> He's not gonna cut as short as we do. He cuts tall, you don't need the silica sand. You can't just use soil because we have an issue. He has major ruts. I mean, we talk about this all the time. Mow different directions, way, that way you don't get ruts. I've never seen that. This is like the first time we've ever seen ruts ever. Check this out. This is just years of the same mowing pattern and that's how you get ruts. So we gotta fill all these in, all of them. Average two, two and a half inch deep ruts. Yeah, at least he mowed every single week, you know? But we're gonna fix that for him. We're not just gonna put soil down. 
because soil is eventually just gonna sink back in and mix with the soil. It doesn't have as good as leveling properties as sand does. Sand is just like little rocks, right? And no, the myth, you mix sand and soil, it's gonna make concrete. Well, number one, you need gravel, sand, and cement to make concrete. It's a myth, myth busted, easy peasy. Not gonna happen, don't worry about that. Okay, enough for the history lesson, you guys already know all that stuff. Let's get started, let's mix it up. Now, you say, what should I do? If you're ordering sand, make sure you're doing a 75-20 if it's this bad. 75% sand, 25% soil, just because you really wanna get it level. This is for leveling purposes. If you're just gonna add some topsoil, that's because your, your situation's already pretty level. Like here, I can just add topsoil. I can just add compost. I can just add sand because it's really level. If you just add soil here, the ruts are going to stay. We want to eliminate the ruts. First, we're going to scarify the entire area and then we're going to aerate. After that, we're going to leave the plugs on because again, he cuts tall. We don't need to be taking the plugs out. We're going to mix the sand and soil together about 75, 25, 75 sand, 25% soil. And then we're going to level it out with a leveling rake. You guys excited? <laughs> I am. Let's do it. Perfect timing, Rick. <laughs> I'm leveling today. Right? Yep, so I got sand and soil. I'm gonna fill in the ruts, and then I'm not gonna seed yet because our soil temps went back down to like 49. Yeah, it's been kind of chilly overnight. You know what I mean? Days. Weekend is still gonna be down like in the 40s. Yeah, so I'm hoping after the 15th, because then after that, I'll just have to seed. So yeah, we're, we're on track. I'm gonna warn you right now, that soil uh, this year smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> smells like manure, so. Yeah, for sure, more nutrients. <laughs> All right, Rick, I'm gonna get started. Yep, yep. We got gas. We gotta use the ego. They mad, they ain't famous. Yeah. It's level day. I'm gonna level it out today. Don't put sand and soil and stuff. How's that? I'm seeing it's turning white. Yeah, yeah. You guys? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I was running. Right. Cause it's killing the weeds. And then it's, I'm allergic to grass, that's why we're masked. <laughs> this is what you, do. you know, it's weird, right? Freaking weird. But yeah, it'll uh, it'll pop through and that white will just cut it off oh, soon. So, he's still watering though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Cool, man. He's on it, bro. He's on it, bro. <laughs> good to see you, brother. See you soon. Lovely. Look at all that. A lot of material. Now, you don't have to really get down to the dirt. I mean, you saw it when we did the greens. There was still grass popping and dying through, so this is fine. This will all go away. This will all go away. If you can sod cut, sod cut. That's what I did. But this still does it. I mean, we've done all these methods. It's not like this is something new to us. This is all stuff we've done before. I think I forgot to mow that one second. <laughs> you guys can stare at the dog pee. We'll give that a little wash afterwards. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Amic Royal Aerator. Level day, but I can't seed yet. All our soil temps are like 49. We got time. <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm talking about. I don't think this has been aerated in ever. Look at that. So many aeration holes, so many plugs. We're just gonna leave them on there. Like I said, keep that there. He said he's having a really hard time with this area right here, but that's just water. We adjusted that, so it's coming through. And like I said, my hose is right there. What's two seconds of my time just to hook Rick up? Especially if it's like sunny, bro. I'm gonna like, you know, we call it syringing. When I syringe, I'm gonna hit his up too. I'm just gonna come over here. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna be, hey Rick freaking water your lawn three times a day in the in the summer and spend 600 a month on water no we'll do that for him get this side it's definitely gonna need a nice little aeration Oop. <clears throat> so right here you can see and then our dirt and sand will fill that in too please don't rain Guys, let's mix up our concoction. God, this stuff stinks this year. Oh, put on my gloves, this stuff stinks, bro. What's my buddy saying? 5.30, let's mix up this concoction. So this is just one cubic foot, okay? And I don't really follow, like I don't do like one inch, a perfect one inch all the way across the board, okay? I really eyeball everything I do when it comes to leveling. I'm not gonna bust out a leveling freaking tool. I'm not gonna bust out a, a two by four. It's not that serious. As long as the mower is going over even, that's what we want. That's level, okay? We're not, we're not building a golf course here for Rick. So what we're gonna do now, this and mix it with sand. I'm gonna do more sand than soil. Here comes the stinky stuff. Oh, it is so ripe. Oh, that is fresh. <clears throat> That is a fresh batch. Did they add manure this year? I think they did. Okay, break her down just a little bit. See, that's why I don't like this Home Depot stuff. I really like the Lowe's. Lowe's has the, what tribe is that? The Cowlitz one. Look at how giant that rock is, you know what I mean? But it's okay. Let me throw this rock away. It's going down. Let's get this sand. Pour it all up in there. Thank God for this table because then we can just cut it and then put the barrel there Work smarter not harder. That is a potent smell. That's gonna be in my nostrils for five days Again sand has more leveling properties than soil so you want to mix more sand and soil if your situation is get it leveled in a while you know what i mean now don't worry about these big rocks again rick cuts pretty tall so we're not gonna have to worry about that do i recommend using this for a lawn like ours really short cut with real mowing absolutely not that'll get in the real mower and mess everything up but this is gonna just get really deep into his soil and mix in and level it out so we fill in all those ruts it's gonna be awesome start mixing it together 
grab a shovel. And I guess I should have mixed it as we were pouring it in. We'll do that next time. Mm, yes. Uh -huh. Maybe we should make this mix this on his lawn. Mix your concrete up really good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's that sandy soil right there. Look at that. Professional. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Are you kidding me? Okay, back with the headphones. assess the situation here. I try to spread it the cool way. That's not gonna work. You really have to put the sand and soil mixture in the ruts first, okay? I just want it to look cool for one second. What's gonna happen is, I'm guessing 180 pounds of sand per four bags of soil for this little section. You got, I mean, <laughs> guys, we're not gonna seed for a couple weeks because obviously the soil temps, right now it's 49. Soil temps are 49, you can't seed. So I'm just gonna keep leveling it out as, as we go. You know, it doesn't have to be done today. You know, Rick's patient and he knows grass isn't gonna grow right now. Let's get it as even as possible section at a time. I don't wanna just throw it down and say, okay, cool, it's, it's even. No, I'm not like that. We gotta make it just as good as ours. This time we're gonna mix it as we go. This is the fun stuff, guys. Take your time. Okay. Smells like someone took a big old fatty dookie. It's my bracelet. I don't know if there's silica in here, so I'm just gonna put a mask just in case. Nice little method right there, my dudes. First, we're gonna use the small level rake to really fine tune the rut areas, and then we'll bust out a magic mic. Oh my goodness gracious, we're leveling. No more ruts, baby. Look at that. <laughs> no more ruts. Fill in those ruts. Yes, sir. What ruts? What ruts are you talking about? Huh? What ruts are you talking about? Rocky Kings of Tampa! <laughs> Bro, what ruts are you talking about? Bro, I really don't know what ruts you're talking about. Where's the ruts? I don't see any. It's all even. You saw Magic Mike killing the game. You saw that. Come on now. Come on now. That's just the first step, okay? That's just the first step. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Come on. We've been doing this so long, we just know it works, you know what I mean? More sand than soil, because sand has more leveling properties. Soil's gonna give that nutrients. We're gonna put a layer of soil before we overseed. We're gonna put a layer of compost over it. We're gonna put a layer of peat moss over it. I mean, we're really doing this right. We're doing this boutique style, okay? This isn't, you know, I'm doing this because I want him to have the best lawn 
he's ever had. If I was a landscaper, sure, quick, easy, done. No, this is boutique style. We're taking our time, we're making sure everything's very level before we seed, that way he enjoys the mow. He's gonna start, he said he's gonna start cutting different ways. He's gonna start cutting one way, he's gonna start cutting the other way. <sighs> Smells crazy. <laughs> Let's mix up another batch and we'll get this section here for him. The nice thing too is guys, we filled in those aeration holes with sand and soil. With sand and soil, amazing, amazing. That in, boy. Take your time. There's no rush. You need to come back the next day. Take your time. What are you rushing for? Enjoy it. Because this is the last time you're about to see an ugly lawn. Look at that. Look at that. Just fill it in. Fill it in. See, push it back like this, and then you're gonna push it forward. Knock it down. Boom. Boom. Easy. P pull back, push forward, fill it in. Pull back, push forward, fill it in. Easy as sin. Other direction. Look at that. That excess doesn't want to go there. That means it's level. Push it away. Pull back. Push forward. Pull back. Look at that. Look at that. Sheesh. Come on, bro. Level. You've cut the soil with sand. Everything's in nice lines, so go ahead and just line everything up really good. Make sure it's all even in the ruts, and then go to town. <laughs> Thank you, Lawn Gods. It's raining. He let us finish. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Tell me 
these things? When the lens is dirty. I know what you're thinking. Yardbird, you're missing a step. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Don't worry, I have it. I'm sorry the camera died. I'm on my phone. I know what you're thinking. You're forgetting a step, yard, bruh. What are you thinking? No, I'm not. I have it. It's right here. This is a roller. This is how you roll it flat. You put water in there and you go to town. Not yet, because we're gonna do another round of soil right before we overseed. So we'll just let this settle in. I'm gonna let this camera charge real quick and I'll show you the result. It's crazy. It started raining just right when we finished. Amazing. Let me charge this for like five minutes and I'll see you guys in a second. I'm tired. I am so tired. <laughs> that is a lot of work. We're not even done yet. Not even close. Not even close to being done. Okay. Here. Oh shit. Wrong one. <laughs> Look at how dark that is though. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, it's so level. That is the start of a level situation. It was about 75% sand and 25% soil. Kind of. <laughs> it, was, it was sand heavy. Let's put it that way. It was sand heavy. We're still going to fill in a little bit more. This was just the start. Definitely coming in here with some more soil on top i like the soil sand mixture we might just do another round of that now you saw me blowing the edges make sure you do that blow the edges so you shape everything up literally so i mean when you clean it looks like you didn't do anything okay shape it all up you see that super nice Super nice. I mean, where's the ruts, bro? This side got a heavy dose. I mean, this is pretty much done, but we're gonna keep going with this. Again, it's raining. You can see it's raining, because look. Look at the glass. It's raining just in time. It's dinner time. We're gonna go eat some grub. This is amazing. We have plenty of time. Like I said, 49 degree soil temper now. There's no way, bro. There's no way. I know Jonathan's out there. His stuff is growing. It's growing pretty decent, but that's kind of the weird thing with, with our state. You can kind of grow whenever, kind of, if it's, unless it's like super cold, it's not going to grow. If it's super hot, it even grows. We've already tested that too. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. So let's break it down again before we take off because I got to get some rest before I edit. Scarify. We just pull up more of this stuff out, all the material, the dead material. Then we mowed it. Then we did some aeration with our Amic roll aerator. Love that thing. You saw how fast it was. Come on. And then I don't have to go to Home Depot and return it. Simple, easy peasy. Sand, soil mixture. Hit it with the with the golf rake. Hit it with Magic Mike on that one. That one's pretty much done, like I said. That side's going to need a lot more, but we're just going to cover it. Just, just make it really good. And then we're going to roll it in once we get the second round going. Just to get the ball rolling, you know what I mean? Just just to get everything moving. I think we did a pretty good, jo good job today. Pretty good job. If I don't say so myself. That's how I fix ruts, at least. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really have ruts. I had some dips. So I use silica sand for that. And then again, the greens is silica sand. Everything's looking so delicious. So delicious and so nutritious. Yes, sir, we Bob. All right, my dudes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to work on the greens tomorrow for sure. The greens needs a little bit of attention. I'm going to overseed the greens again because we did winter overseed. It's still dormant. I don't know if I should plant some more. I'm going to do it anyways. Who cares? But we will catch you guys on the next one. You're amazing. You're awesome. Keep, keep tuning in. We got a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. As you can see, the ball's rolling. Let me show you this real quick too. Just real quick. And I'll leave you guys. It's dying. Jeff moved the date up to May 1st, so we have time. May 1st is that one. I mean, May 1st, that's like prime time seed time. So we're gonna save that for May 1st. Thank God, because I was, I was gonna do like three in a day. <laughs> My body would have been jello keep tuning in guys you're the best thank you so much you're awesome you're amazing we'll catch the next video take it easy oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so delicious guys can you believe that can you believe we're starting on this 
Oh, so good. So good. Thank you.